Hi guys, Heather with Feather Bear Designs. I'm coming to you today with a basic tutorial that takes it way back where it all began. And I realized that some of the videos that we have on our channel are very specific. And I wanted to take it back to the beginning and start to finish a cup for you guys so you can see exactly how every single step is done. So something that I get asked to do a lot. Um, and I cover the basic steps in a lot of the videos, but never just one whole video series of how you start and how you finish. So the items that I'm going to be using today, for the cup I'm going to be using a Skinny Mini, it's a 12 ounce Skinny Tumbler that is already coated. And I got this from the Stainless Depot, from Irene, if you guys don't know who that is, she sells the hogs. This is a Mars brand cup, but because she's your one-stop shop, she has everything you need, guys. These cups are so adorable. It's probably one of my favorite size cups ever. They have matching straws that come with them. So this is Midnight. It's a navy blue, and it has a matching straw that is the same color as the cup, which is everything. Okay, so this is the cup I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using one of our football arms that you guys know my husband makes these. If you don't want to make them yourself, he makes and sells these. Um, this is a small football. This is going to fit into this 12 ounce cup. No problem. I'm going to be using Amazing Clear Cast Epoxy. That is my epoxy of choice. Everyone finds what works for them and what doesn't, and that's totally okay. But for me personally, what I'm using is Amazing Clear Cast. I'm going to be using Feather Bear Bling my glitter in the color District 12. And I will um, show you guys more of this on camera as I'm going. So District 12 is the color I'm going to be using. I'm going to use some little medicine cups to measure my epoxy. And then once I have both sides measured, I'm going to dump them both into one of these little Dixie cups that does not have the wax inside. You know it doesn't have wax inside because if you scratch it with your finger, nothing comes out. <laughs> the ones that are coated in wax, the wax comes off on your finger and that can affect your epoxy negatively. So I'm going to go ahead and get you guys moved over here where I'm going to be doing the cup and we're going to get right into it. Okay, so my turner setup, my single turner setup has the Nerf balls on it. You guys can see our one of our other videos, my husband shows you how to um, modify your turners with this. The football arms that I have slide right onto it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the 12 ounce onto my football arm and then I look inside to make sure that it's, I need to wiggle it around however to make sure that it's even. So it's hard to show you on camera but I look straight down into it like that and I, I move it according to where it needs to be to be straight on my cup and then I just slide it right onto my turner. Okay, in this video, I'm going to be applying the glitter with the epoxy method. I'm not going to be using Mod Podge, but I will do another video with Mod Podge. I'm also going to do another video with Loctite. So we're going to be covering every single one of those techniques. We're just starting with the epoxy method today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure my epoxy. I use the pumps. So I'm going to just pump in, if I'm looking at this, I'm going to pump in one teaspoon of each part. So this will have one teaspoon of part A. And then I will have one teaspoon of part B. And I will mix them together. Generally, I just use a popsicle stick to mix them up. Can you see? Where can you see? I'm going to take this off of here for a second so it's not in the way and you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to take the thinner part, part B, and I'm going to put that into my cup first. 
I only need a little bit of epoxy this go around because I'm basically using the epoxy as an adhesive. You do not need very much. But you want to make sure that you're scraping the sides of your cup to get as much of that epoxy out of there as you absolutely can. And then the part A is thicker. I like to put that in second because it likes to settle straight to the bottom. So it makes it easier to mix if you're doing that part last. Again, make sure that you are scraping the sides, scraping the bottom to get every little bit out of there to guarantee that you have an equal mix. You guys, please excuse my sniffling. We have a little cold running through the house. Okay. Then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to mix it with my stick. Um, I'm not too concerned with mixing slowly um, to avoid bubbles because this is being used as an adhesive on the cup. It's not actually going to be the top coat, so it won't matter if it's got some bubbles in there. They're not going to show. When mixing, make sure that you're taking your stick and you're scraping along the side of the cup to get anything that's on the edge of the cup incorporated. Make sure that you're also trying to figure out the best angle for this. Go into the very bottom edge of the cup with your stick and scraping any of that so that it's all getting mixed up in there really well. Generally what happens with the epoxy is it turns out kind of foggy, like when you first start mixing it, it's kind of foggy. And then as it's incorporated, it becomes clear. So that's what you want to watch for, is for it to turn back clear. Okay, I'm going to pop this right back on there. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. And I'm just going to kind of dip my fingers into the epoxy with a gloved finger and I'm going to smooth it on there because if I dump the epoxy on, I'm going to end up with more epoxy than I want on the cup for the glitter application. Again, I'm literally using the epoxy as an adhesive. So you don't want any more epoxy on here than you would want, let's say, Mod Podge or um, a layer of Loctite if that's what you're using. You just need it to be your glue. So you want an even coat, but you want a very thin coat. And I'm going to make sure I get some on the bottom as well, because we're going to put glitter there too. You don't have to, you can tape it off if you choose to do so. Um, I, I'm not a taper. And then as it turns, I'm just gonna be looking to make sure that the entire cup is coated evenly in epoxy. And if you're using a gloved finger, you can feel like I can feel when I come to a spot like it'll my finger will kind of stall a little bit if I'm coming to a spot that does not have epoxy on it. Okay, we're good on that. go ahead and put a piece of paper down because the next step is going to be to add the glitter. Again, the glitter is District 12 from Feather Bear Bling. We are on Facebook and I do sell this glitter. So this is a color shift glitter and uh, it's a fine flake. It's not extra fine. And 
and I will link everything on the video. Like I'll, I'll put a link down for everything. Okay, make sure you guys can see what's going on here. I'm literally just going to take this and I'm just gonna start sprinkling it on. One little spot there. Um, I don't recommend you touch the epoxy. You guys, um, a lot of people have allergies to the epoxy. I do not. So I know that if I touch it, I'm going to be okay. But be careful touching the epoxy, especially if you could potentially be allergic to it. Don't do what I just did. Just going to gently sprinkle this back and forth as it's turning. The epoxy is going to help the glitter lay flat. It's going to help maintain a smooth surface so that when we go to put the final layer of epoxy on, it's easy to do. Notice I'm not dumping the glitter, I'm just gently sprinkling because you can always continue doing that as the cup turns. But if you dump, it's hard to take it back. And I'm just going to keep sprinkling this on there as the cup's turning so that I can make sure that I get every single part of this coated. Make sure you put the paper down underneath because all that glitter that's falling off is going to go back in the container. Okay, so what I would do now is I kind of tap on it a little bit to get whatever's loose on there. Pull it off really quick and I do the bottom. I used a tiny, tiny bit of epoxy on here so the epoxy will not run during this step. The glitter helps keep it pretty much in place. But now the bottom of the cup is glittered. This is a color shift glitter, so you're going to see the green, you're going to see the black, you're going to see the coppery gold that's in there, depending on what angle you're looking at the cup from. You can see the green on the bottom. Okay guys, I will be back. I'm going to let this rotate for probably about three hours and let the uh, epoxy that's underneath that glitter cure. If you start seeing spots that look wet, if you're doing this method and you see wet spots, gently sprinkle some more glitter. Don't dump it, just dust it on there so that you have an even coat. Keep an eye on these while they're spinning. Get your even coat on there. Okay, so I'll, I'll be back to show you guys the next step, which will be adding the epoxy over the top of it.